so hey guys welcome to this new session of mongodb course so in this in this session we will understand about how to write queries to the database and find different documents based on some conditions that we put in so the function that is used to find different uh, documents across the database is going to be called find the function that's called as find f i n d right so in this parent in this find function we are going to pass some conditions and depending on the conditions we get some result we get some output we get all the documents that match this condition so since we are going to find in the users collections so we're going to write db dot users and if you go ahead and write find without any condition it will provide all the data that is present inside the collection so i have four documents inside this ashwin rahul and raman kumar so you could see that four documents have been added so <clears throat> if you look properly <clears throat> there the first field that says underscore id has not been added by us like it was never added by us in the first uh, if you will follow the previous video the ashwin and rahul that was added this id field was never added by us so mongodb adds an underscore id or a, a key called id to the document by default so what this does is that it is trying to create a very very unique identifier for every single document that is pushed through to the collection so by default an id gets added which will an you know, id with the key with an underscore gets added with an object id which in an object id is based is created based on the timestamp the data that you put in a lot most of that goes behind it so it has a lot of unique identifiers using which it creates one single id which is going to be unique across any database right so this id field gets automatically added so now if you look at the result that we've got just by writing db.users.find we have got all the documents or list of all the documents that is that we have stored in our users collection so now let's try to find or let's try to get only the document which has the name ashwin right so let's try doing that so inside the find what i want to do is put up json object and write name <coughs> that belongs to just ashwin do this press enter only that respective document gets printed so it is as simple as this right so you just write find put a condition inside where you go write the key value on which key that you want the condition to be and colon and you write the value then you're trying to tell that this key should have this value if this is true return all the documents that fall find that follows this kind of condition or that that goes true with this kind of this kind set of condition so we can go ahead and uh, may make a small change and we can try doing with instead of name let's go for age let's give 24 and let's see if something comes yes so ashwin with an age 24 the document gets printed <clears throat> so this is basic query where you just write a condition a single key and you write a condition and this kind of works we can concatenate these the, we can write an and condition saying that i want the age name to be this and the age to be this so we can go forward and write users tv.users.find and in the parenthesis in the brace this thing we're going to write name let's say we'll write ram and we will also write age and ram it is going to be 20 right so let's do this let's see if we can figure out yes there you go so the rams data alone is printed out so rams in the name is ram and age is 20 so i'm getting something out of it let's try making the age 21 let's see what happens nothing there is no document that comes under the name uh, ram and has the age 21 so this is basic querying that you can do to get different data now you might be thinking let's say if i want to get uh, you know this since salary is going to be a json object inside that like salary has a json object with it i cannot write straightforward like salary and uh, you know i need because salary contains two other metrics along it like that's base and bonus you got to main specifically you got to write base or you got to put some conditions for base and bonus right so when it comes to accessing data inside the respective object or you know trying to uh, inside a salary you got to write salary with the double quotes so you just write salary those dv dot users are fine salary dot base so that becomes your entire id right so you're going to put it with double quotes says this such that it understands that it is a respective id and for that it is going to check the 30000 or the salary that's going to be 30000 so if you want to go for bonus you go for bonus instead of 30 if you give 20 you get ashwin's this thing which salary is equal to this thing right now 20000 now the bonus is equal to 20000 so this is a set of this thing you can press cls to clear the entire screen so you get can start from zero 
so just something that you can learn right so apart from this let's say you want to find all the documents that has the age less than 25 okay so all the users that has age less than 25 so you can write db.users.find <coughs> go forward write age then you write another brace you write dollar lesser than lt is lesser than then you go for a value 25 that's it if you do this we are trying to tell under the key field age find all the values that have age less than 25 so we are trying to tell dollar less than 25 dollar here mentions that less than or the operator that you're trying to do less than or greater than or anything that happens if it's greater than you press gt right so you do this you see ram rahul and ashwin right all of these are age less than 25 so you get all these three data you can go forward and write let's say instead of lt you go write gt which means going to be greater than you put 20 does this thing you get the same single data but this time you don't see ram because ram's age is 20 you wanted to have greater than 20 right so you're going to have 23 24 and 25 so rahul ashwin and kumar so this is how you can actually do queries and uh, this is more or less the entire structure behind the queries right i mean uh, this is basic we have thought we have learned so far you have learned how to basically query or to have some basic queries written onto different uh, database and different data types let's go for and do one for contact also let's try let, let's try okay fine you know what i want all the documents that has contact there is a size of the number of contact numbers should be just one i want the things that has only single contact number i want all the users which have single contact number so just go write db.users dot find and i'm going to do <coughs> brace open close contact open i'm going to write dollar size and i'm going to write one if i do this ashwin and rahul only has single contact number so you get to see that but if, if you look at kumar and ram they have two different contact numbers so that doesn't work out so suppose let's say you want to find a user with a single with with, with just a phone number that is like nine zero eight seven six five four three two one. Let's say that is the number that you want to give, and that's the number you want to find it for. You can go forward and write contact, and inside the contact you can just write nine zero eight seven six five four three two one. Right, do this, enter all the fields which all all the documents which has this number in any element of the list will be returned. So Ashwin, Rahul and Ram all have the same number, so you are able to see the result accordingly. So with this we will end this class over querying. So from th in today's class we have learned about how to do find objects based on how find de de no, sorry, documents based on name equality, age equality, uh, greater than, lesser than and uh, trying to query something under us, you know, what you call it, JSON inside or nested JSONs like salary or list with respect to contact and everything. So the next class, let's try to update some documents and update and delete few documents and see how that goes about. Thank you.